Hey guys, welcome back to Building Con episode two. I wanted to preface this video with uh, an apology for not uploading last week. Uh, I have decided that I want to have uh, actual progress in each update that I feel proud of and worth showing you guys. So um, it took a little bit longer this week and I've decided to move these to a episode basis rather than weekly. So they could come out anytime that I have progress, whether it's every other week or even every couple days. Um, this week, we are going to talk about buildings, going to start with the uh, church and talk about road design. Hey guys, so I got some Bricklink orders in and I thought we'd take a little portion of the updates this week to go over some of the pieces I ordered for Con and some other personal projects and what I plan to use these pieces for. So this first one we got uh, is pretty small. I believe it's from UT Bricks. Um, it was mostly just for this hair piece I really wanted from some Disney character. Um, tons of these little reddish brown horn elements, a couple of two by two tiles, and then some of these one by two fluted elements in green for, uh, these are just gonna be for windows mostly. Um, all these little reddish brown pieces are either going to be for trees or chairs, depending on if I can get them to work, and then just some roof tiles. Next up, got a little bag here, it's got some 2x2 uh, two two round reddish brown plates, and then some 1x1s uh, one in sand blue, dark blue uh, wedge, wedge tile. Something like that. This is just to complete an AAT mock. Uh, these are for some chairs, and this is for a, and the sand blue pieces are for a building I'm working on. Uh, we'll just go over a lot of the sand blue that I got right now. So we got a bunch of these one by fours, one by twos, one by two plates, and I got a couple of ingots for some texture in the wall. Next up, we got some awnings that I'm gonna be working on, snotting into my buildings. Uh, we got some dark red here, uh, some more dark red and some dark blue, and then a bunch of white so I can make some striping patterns with some color into it. Next up, we got two red toolboxes. These are just a really cool accessory that I've never owned before. And I really wanted one, so I decided to get two. Next, we got some 2x2 two two corner tiles in dark bluish gray for some sidewalks or roofs. Next up, we got a bunch of hands. I think there's 40 or so in green here, and then I got two in medium brown. I really just... I'm trying to collect all the different skin tones that the Lego company is producing now for their flesh minifigures. And medium brown hands were definitely on that list. Still looking for the arms though. Oh, and those green hands are going to be uh, carrot stems for the truck. Um, next we got some quarter tiles in reddish brown for some chairs. Corner tiles in dark red for some roof pieces. Then we got some unicorn horns in orange, so I'm going to combine with those hands to make those carrots. And next we got some reddish brown horns still for chairs or trees. This bag is almost entirely filled with 1x2 clear plates. Uh, there's a couple of 2x2 two two reddish, uh, not reddish, uh, dark red tiles in there for roofs. And these trans uh, clear pieces are definitely going to be used for windows. I'm working on designing some brick built windows to try and liven up the build a little bit more. Next up we got some 2x2 two two modified plates where they're half tiled in white. These are for my window design. I'm going to try that out later this episode see if those work out. Next is just going to be a lot of roof tiles. Uh, tons in dark red, dark bluish gray, we got some in uh, dark orange, more in dark orange. I believe that those are all the roof tiles. I'm trying to wrap this up here, we got tons of wands 
for fencing in those chair backs. Show you those chairs at the end, later this episode. Uh, more unicorn horns in orange. Lots of carrots. Uh, we got some candles in reddish brown to try and make some telegraph poles for Khan. Um, and got a couple bags left. We've got tons of these uh, one by ones with studs on the side for snot work. These are going to be for the road that we're going to be getting into later this episode. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, there was more. This is 5,000 of these, I believe. And then I believe I got 10,000 one by one dark bluish gray tiles. This is what I was talking about last week for the cobblestone roads, and I'll definitely be showing you guys off a little portion of that later this week. Here is the road design that I've been working on. Um, most of week two has been working on just putting these little assemblies together of just a dark bluish gray snot brick and a dark bluish gray tile on the side and then just stacking them along and you get this nice little gap in between each of the tiles that I think works really well. So for the width of the road we're going to go with 16 studs and for the sidewalks I'm still debating between 6 and 8 studs but yeah we'll let you guys know and I'll show you guys how I'm planning on integrating the road systems here shortly. Alright guys, so I finished up uh, my first design on how I want to attach the road into the mock. Um, so the idea I had was basically to create what is essentially a mills plate with just a really deep uh, channel in it for the road to actually go into that I put some tiles onto and then these guys just kind of slide around in here pretty freely. I didn't bother creating the whole texture again with them offset perfectly. So this is just a idea phase. And then the idea would be that these entire mills plates would fit into another channel already that is just going to include enough space in between buildings for the sidewalk and the road. Alright guys, so I did a little bit of an update to my medium nougat building from last week's episode. So what I've basically done here is I've just gone back, redone the door, redone all the windows, and then gone back and changed up the roof. So for the door right here, I knew I wanted to go brick built and I wanted to go white to match all of the shutters on the windows. Um, just gave it a nice little gold doorknob. And then for the windows, I just inset them all by half of a stud and gave them a gray border as well. These windows now securely fixed. The roof shape has changed. I cut these 45 degree slots out of it and I've been trying to figure out different ways to try and fill these gaps but I'm having a harder time than I would have originally thought. Um, got a couple of different designs with some plates, some cheese slopes and stacked headlight bricks. I'm still not finding anything that I am extremely satisfied with. Uh, got some texturing around the entire thing with some masonry profile bricks, uh, some chimneys, these parts in reddish brown I'm going to be replacing in nougat as well, more windows being finished up, and then, yeah, um, for the trim of the roof, actually, it's going to be the same thing as I had last week, but I just put these clips on the end instead of the lightsaber pieces uh, with some flex tube and minifigure hands and these will uh, bend out the way to really create that nice trim on the edge there. Um, the interior is pretty empty as you can see. There's really nothing in here because there's not really any visible viewpoints in besides the top windows on the second floor. Alright guys, I just wanted to show off a quick few techniques. Um, 
that I've seen on Instagram or that I've worked on myself um, that I just got some of the parts for in my brickling quarter. So first up, I want to take a look at this telegraph pole. Um, I still want to figure out a way to get one of these candle elements on this top section here, but this is just, I think, 10 or 12 candle elements stacked on top of each other with a one by one round plate with a with a bar connection on the top if it'll focus yeah and you just connect that in there and then this is one of those one by five rounded plates with the technic bar in the center and the studs on top i think this works out pretty well um standing up next to a minifigure it actually does pretty well size wise i believe and then next up is just a quick one uh, it's just the awnings uh, working on focus come on there we go um, yeah it's just a bunch of these stacked on top of each other I'm gonna probably get some uh, cornered off tiles for here um, in white and then we also have a, another length in blue and I can break these up however I need to across a couple different shops or buildings and then last up um, I don't know where I saw this. I know that I didn't come up with it, but I saw it on Instagram somewhere. It's just been sitting in the back of my head for a long time, and I just had to make a couple. And these are just the coolest, like, perfect-sized minifigure chairs I've ever seen. They're so detailed, uh, so minimal, but they just work so perfectly. It's just uh, four of these horn elements slotted into the bottom of a two by two round plate in reddish brown um and then it is a lever base with the wand uh piece with the sprue still attached slotted in there and this just tiled off with some of these quarter round tiles um i got enough pieces to make 10 of these these are going to be sitting outside of that little uh, medium nougat building, I believe I'm going to be making that into a cafe. I think that's just going to be the perfect fit for it and the perfect fit for the chairs in Con. So I was just editing this episode and all of my footage and time lapses of building the church did not record properly or something because I can't get them to work and they're saying they're corrupted or something. So I'm just going to walk you guys through everything that I accomplished this week with the church instead. Um, so the entire thing is quite, quite large. Um, this front section here is going to be the tower and that's going to be going up about two and a half feet. Here is the brickwork that I was doing, I was talking about um, last week with my old build, but I wanted to go a little bit more focused on the uh, masonry bricks. These windows, I'm still waiting on getting these one by ones uh, that are modified with the set on side in light bluish gray and getting a ton of these tiles, but this one is pretty much done just needs the right colored one by ones behind it and a uh, way to fill this top gap i think i'm going to be uh doing black on the bottom and the top there goes all the way down it's going to be about this tall here and then in between the windows i have these little structural pillars that uh curve down in different uh, ways this one's got the one by two by two uh, slopes here at the base and then at the tops of the windows. I just did the one by two slopes. Um, going back around, this is where the angle is going to be. Didn't get much done on this. Uh, we're going to have a smaller window here. And then towards the back of the church, didn't get much done with this back wall here. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this back wall thinking maybe a big circular window and then we just got some more work back here on this little uh, quarters or storage whatnot 
The other side of it is just gonna be the exact same, just haven't gotten around to it. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for the church. This thing is absolutely massive. I think this thing is probably gonna be eating up 30 to 40,000 pieces alone, including the roof. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this week's episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure to let me down, know down in the comments if you guys have any ideas or criticism for the mock so far. Besides that, see you guys next week.